And hey there, it's me, Mudlink, and welcome back to some more. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I was, I don't know why I blinked out there for a second. Last time, we made it inside the Vim Laboratory. And while, Mar while the adult Mario and Luigi were kidnapped, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi learned some hammer tricks and went and rescued them. And now this time, we're going to be heading further into the Vim Laboratory and making it to the end. button there. Fuck. Well, wow, that sucked. I have to use two fucking one-ups on <laughs> baby Mario. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why do I have to be so shit? <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know when this is going up. I don't know if it's going up before uh, the... The late, like the episode I recorded before with uh, Clover, but I have a new controller now, so now I can play this game a lot better. Although, I mean, from what she saw before, it hasn't really helped me that much. <laughs> okay, get away from me. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this fucking guy. Oh my god, I've been using fucking one up one up mushrooms quite a bit in this. Oh my god, Luigi fucking died there. I guess it's just cause of the awful I guess because of the equipment I have on, lowering my defense a lot. That's fine. Anyway. Get the fuck away from me, buddy. Oh my god. Hitting the wrong fucking button. So now we just gotta work together. More of these kind of puzzles. I just, I, you know, like always, like I say, these puzzles I do like. Oh, there you go. We got ourselves a bean. I do tend to like these puzzles. Yeah, make make a good use of both screens. Easy fucking puzzle right there. Now I'm just gonna... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Keep on mixing up X and Y because if Xbox controller different that is different than uh, Nintendo control than a Ninten how the Ninten Nintendo does their controllers. <sighs> fucking Christ! All right, there we go. Uh, Mario got hit. Well, baby Mario got hit once and does so much fucking damage. Oh, fuck! I need to. Mm, gotta stop doing that. Two directions for us to go and let's just go on the left side. So we can get all the optional stuff first. Fuck. Alright. That's it for that battle. See what to talk about. I mean I talked about I definitely talked about it during my clo I talked about it during my last my the clover episode I recorded. With 
with Kentaro, uh, Kentaro Miura dying, it's it's very sad to, s to see that happen, you know. Cause, yeah, it's just. You know, it's it's sad to see like w like what exactly happened, like what happened during all that. You know, it's like his life is very secretive, so it's hard for us to really find out about it. Fuck. Alright. Yeah. It's sad overall. The story's like the story's not gonna be is not gonna end, and then. It's most likely that if he did pass it on to somebody else, it's just not going to be the same. Or we're just never going to see the end of Berserk ever. That's also like, like a, like a really, really high, that's a really high probability there. That it'll just, never, it'll just never be completed. And that's just, it's a damn shame, you know? Damn shame. I just can't go any further there. Okay. Enough about depressing topics. I just go over this. I guess since we've been in this area for a while, that's, I really like the like the look of this area. It just looks great overall. Music gives it like a really, really nice like really nice. Like grim aesthetic to it, and I'm just gonna save here. And we're gonna head forward. Now it's time for this fucking boss. So here we got Swiggler with a Dr. Shrub on his side. With two Dr. Shrubs. And this is honestly a massive difficulty jump. And when I mean massive, I mean sterling massive. So here Swiggler has 250 HP. With 200 HP in the European and Pal the European and Japanese versions. So yeah, this is honestly what cemented into a lot of people's minds the difficulty of this game. Sure, later bosses can be hard too, 
but this is such a massive jump up compared to other compared to other, the other like just everything before the point and even a bit after So this thing has a lot of attacks. I don't know, we're definitely able to see them all shown off here. Uh, I'm gonna just go for cannonballers first. So A, Y, B, X. Oh my God, I literally uh, messed that up. It's got to be careful there. See, so the Dr. Shroops here, they're meant to either invigorate him with the the normal mushroom, or you can actually poison him and make him weaker with the, the green mushroom. So you got to... Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it's the other way around. Fuck. Yeah, not attack the guy. That's fine. I fucked up his drink anyways. Okay, now we're gonna... Fuck, I swear I get... What's with me not getting the timing right? I don't understand. I'm using other cannonballers. Just because of how strong it is, I want to actually show off the strength of it. So, X, Y, A, B. There you go, 60 damage. So now he's got this attack right here. Charges up those guys here. Oh my god. Oh god, Mario just fucking died, and now you get to see this attack right here. It's just pretty easy to dodge. Uh, actually, it's honestly kind of easier to to dodge it with than the the small one. Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh my god. Oh, I think I'm gonna lose already. Okay, uh, one up super on. No, wait, shit, I meant to do that to Mario, but I can't do that. I think, I think I'm fucked. <laughs> I think I'm so fucked. Really bad at the timing of this. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're back. Man, that was a fucking wash right there. Okay, I got the timing right there. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit.
Okay, ooh, I did a lot of damage to him. That's nice. Okay, now he's gonna drink it, and then... Yeah, do that. Okay, uh... Just gonna cannonballers again, since this is the best... Best to go for. Y, X, A, B. There you go. Get the 60 damage again, and now I'm in. Yeah. Just keep on doing it over and over again. This. X, A, Y, B. There you go. 80 damage. Okay, he's at 140 health. He's like, yeah, he's more than... More than half already dead. More than halfway dead. Shit. Oh god. I gotta be careful. Shit. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Just stop attacking, please. It's fine. It's all fine. Oh. Oh my god. Jesus. Use a 1-up super on Mario. And I gotta use a... Mushroom on Luigi. Okay. <laughs> Be very careful with this fight. This fight is, yeah. As you can, yeah. Just see, it's fucking hard as shit. I also have to say, uh, if he drinks uh, the potion with the, the the normal mushroom in in it, then he heals health. In the in this version, it's 50 HP he heals, and the uh, European version, he heals. European and Japanese version, he heals 30. It's also terrifying there, so you gotta be very, very careful. But I mean, it's easy to avoid him drinking the the good shit. Okay, there you go. That guy's dead as shit. And that guy's dead as shit, too. Okay, stop. Okay, now I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna use a shell. Okay, hit the wrong button there, but I still did good damage. And I'm gonna go for one last cannonballers. Which should be the finishing job. X A Y B. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh, this fight's fucking hard as hell, but thankfully, if you just got if you have a bit of cannonballers, then you should be fine. Also don't equip the same equipment I have because you just take a lot more damage. Although it's the fight's gonna take much longer if you do if you do that. Anyway. Level up stash. Six. Level up stash last time for the babies, I think, so I'll level up a uh, HP for them or something. Six again! Ah, oh, level up stash again, why not? Everyone's getting a stash level up here. Three. Yeah, and there we have our second cobalt shard.
Where is it? And he swiped the both of them. <laughs> Losers! Thought you could get away with stealing my treasure from my castle, did you? It's payback time. I'll take my treasure, plus whatever you just picked up as compensation. Prince Bowser, let's scram! Rule of fate, we finally succeeded in recovering the second shard, and now this happens. Shame cycle initiated. We must return to our own time and rework our strategy. And thankfully, you don't have to walk all the way back to the time hole just for that. I can't do anything there, so... Should we hang on? Uh... Okay, there's nothing there, it doesn't matter. Now, look, before we head to EGAD, I just want to buy some stuff. Because new stuff has been added. EXP and coin badge now, which we don't really need. Now we're just gonna sell equipment I don't use. Which don't really cost much, but it's fine. Okay, there you go. Now we can buy two more items, although... Eh, yeah, I'll buy some of them. Sorry. Let's get one here and then get... 10 here and then 10 here. So now I got smash eggs and ice flowers. I'll explain what those two do when we get the chance to use them, of course. Right, now let's talk to Egad. About time you boys showed. Ran into some persnickety obstacles, did you? I'm deep in a shame cycle, Professor. We nearly had a pair of fragments, but a young Bowser fellow made off with them both. <laughs> now, now, no need to get your leather lathered. There have been new time holes popping up here faster than toast on Sunday morning. Get two new ones. Four new ones, actually. I'll tell you, one of them is giving off tremendous cobalt star read energy readings. I have no doubt that the time hole you want. Yep, that's where baby Bowser made his escape. Mario, Luigi, we must chase. We must have redemp redemptitude. <laughs> look, look now before you rush off. It'd be wise to survey the rest of the castle. And another thing, there's a noisy fellow from the past running around with the baby. He and Toto throw in the garden. Can you make sure there's no hoopla out there? Yeah, let's just go talk to Toadsworth there. Look lively now, Elder Me. We must please the princess. Back, put your back into it. I'm absolutely spent. Pull yourself together, man. Smile, I say, smile. Oh, I hate this fucking sound. Toadsworth the younger. Princess, she won't she won't stop crying. Tut tut, worry not, Elder Me. We've not yet begun to amuse. Arms out now. Three, two, one. 
Time to go toes with twist. Jelly go out at me. Harvey George is giggling. Yes, you know what that means, Luigi. Oh, Master's Mario and Luigi, grown right up, haven't you? I'm quite up to speed in our crisis. Bit of a sticky wicket. The adult Princess Peach, the kingdom, you must save it all. I shall, and I'll shoot you right, right here as you do, rooting for victory. What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move? Well, if it will help you fulfill your duties, of course, I would be an honor and a privilege. Come, practice awaits. She not bother me, we mustn't falter now. You've taken to calling this technique a spin jump. You'll soon see, see precisely why. Master Luigi begins the move. Are we all quite ready? Good. Commence the instruction. First press R to make Master Luigi's icon change into the spin jump icon. Press B so Master Luigi leaps up and perches on Master Mario's shoulders. From there, press B again and make the two of you whirl about and rise skyward. And now it's rather academic. Press the direction on the D-pad to fly in that direction. Huzzah! This marvelous technique will gra allow you to cross gaps where mere jumps, jumping proves lacking. Have at it. Oh, it looks really weird in the emulator. Yes, yes, jolly good shot. I trust you'll use it to your advantage in the field as well. Should think the spin jump will give you access to some awfully hard to reach areas. Now, time to be officers. Utilize a new time hole and rescue our princess. So we can actually go inside whatever time hole you want, but it's preferred that you go inside the one that they direct you towards because, I mean, your holly jolly village here. There's nothing here for you to do, so... You also can't do this spin jump with the babies on you, as you can expect. And now we're leaving the babies in the past. Let's go! No, they come back anyways. How they make it back up, don't ask. Let's just check out the other time hole quick quick. That had popped up. All the way in the north here, but we can't reach. Nah, just kidding, we can. And no, we can't. I thought we could for a second. So yeah. <laughs> it gives you the options, but not really. You still have to go the way that the game wants you to. Yeah, it's kind of... Eh, eh, eh. Okay, before we go into... Well, I mean, we're not going to go into that time hole for this episode, because... I want to keep these episodes shorter, and I mean, we're already at we're already at half an hour, so let's just do this first. I don't think this is the way you do it, but Yeah, that's not the way you do it, so. So yeah, <laughs> we can't really access, we can only really access one time hole, but that time hole does literally nothing for us. But that's fine. In any case, yep, yeah, this is going to be a good time to end off the episode here. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, no, never mind. Yeah, there's nothing here for us to do. Well, in any case, yep, this is going to be a good time to wrap it up. So next time on the Mario Luigi Partners in Time Let's Play, we're going to be heading into the past once again. And 
seeing a familiar location. See you guys then. Bye-bye.